everybody's watching today. Oh, we're here and we made it. Soku at Frosty Fostings, would you imagine it? More than 20 people showed up in person for offline Soku. This is real, people. Mm -hmm. And I can't believe I found myself in a commentator seat, but uh, I mean, I've done some commentary before. What about you? Yeah, I can do commentary. I can do some commentary. Like, I know the time that you had commentated back in uh, his so 10, like the 10th anniversary. No, was it the 10th anniversary? One of the end of the years. Because you did, uh, I thought you did one of those. Yeah, I did a little bit. I did, like, pools. Mm -hmm. Shout outs to Adept. Adept. Oh, hey, Adept might be a mod soon. Just letting you know. He is in the stream, I saw him. Oh, hey, Adept. Greetings, everybody. Uh, Tess is Tess not is commentating. Playing. Yeah, he's playing right now. He's so. probably going to commentate. I guess like winner's side. Mm, uh, if, he, if he doesn't make it to like top four. Yeah, that's that's correct. Um, we're gonna be commentating the losers bracket, so I think that that consists of Tessiro, Duck Aider, Super Penji, and uh, Sigets. Sigets, that's right. Sigets made it. And we're winners finals. Am I gonna win? Am I gonna win? Zero? No, you're not gonna win. You see, I have a whole plethora of patchy players riding, you know, on my victory right now. <laughs> dude, Ron was talking too much last night. He was like, dude, Zero has this secret tech he's been preparing for you. Dude, okay, straight up the, the secret tech, that's, uh, it's static green. That, that's static all green? Yeah, just static green. That's it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Really? I was expecting gears or something like that. Uh, no, Oops, Huzz, is more, Huzz is more of the Gears player, um, and it's like an anti-air thing, and I, I kind of get what he's going for when he uses the saws, but I can't play saws. It's not for me. But uh, you see, the thing with the static green is that you use it as a DP, you can also use it as an anti-air, so it's, it's anti EQJ 2 a tech. We haven't gotten into that yet. Okay. So, first up is going to be uh, Tessiro, I think? No, it's Bane and Duckator. Bane and Duckator? Yeah. Oh wow, Duckator. Duckator showed up to Frosty Fostings today. Uh, it, as it turns out, if you have a local Soku event going on, he will show up. Uh, one of the oldest Sakuya players that we have. Uh, what do you know about him? Duckator? I know that yeah. he only plays offline Soku. Just offline? Just offline. That explains why we never see him in the server, huh? More or less. Mm -hmm. Also, Bane is an ancient player, but he hasn't played in a long, long, long time, like regularly. But he's actually pretty good. Like he made it top six. Okay. All right. I'm. I'm kind of. I kind of want to see what these guys can bring to the table. Stay where you are. There we go. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So I actually want to know if there are any people in chat who have never seen this game before, because it's going to change how we commentate a little bit. Okay. So we got some. We got some new friends. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this game to explain some of the more fringe mechanics in this game. So you can see them running around, and you can easily see them throwing a ton of bullets. You can actually dash through bullets in this game. That's the main thing. So this game is very projectile heavy, but at the same time, if you go through the bullets with the good timing, then you just hit them. Uh, a, lot of people, a lot of people say that there's like a rock, paper, scissors mechanic to this game where, you know, grazing beats uh, bullets, bullets beat melee, and then melee beats graze. So. Yep. That's one thing to keep in mind when you're like playing the game and watching it. Another thing you can see is there is a weather at the top in the center in that orb. That changes the rules of the game temporarily and it follows a very strict pattern. So you can see that it's just cloudy up there, right? That makes everyone's supers cost one less. And cloudy does go off. So you'll notice that weathers go off when it hits the, uh, the 90 marker. So we're going to be ignoring most of these weathers, unless it's like some really, really important, like crazy weather. We'll be mentioning that, or we'll just be mentioning the weather effects on a case-by-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. For example, Heavy Fog, you simply get 50% lifesteal. Half the damage you do gets returned to you as health. Very good for turnarounds. So uh, I thought this was a button test, but it looks like they just went right into it. They're going. All right, so. Classic Soaker style. And uh, I mean, Heavy Fog at this point in the game, when you see people at like 20% life or less, that's when Heavy Fog becomes big because they're going to have a huge turnaround in, uh, in the match that they're playing. So you can also see their decks on the bottom. Their players' decks are uh, right for their life bars. You can see that the yellow cards are supers. In this case, the one that Sake is holding, or Duckator is holding, 
is a big Oki card. Right there, he's gonna pop this. We're gonna get a big setup going on here. Oh, he high jumps. He's dead. No, no finish on the combo. Could have just jumped and hit a button, then he would have won. Neat. Yeah, Sakuya is very big on the set play. Uh, the moment she gets a knockdown, she has a plethora of spell cards that she can use uh, to keep her momentum. And Duckator is definitely capitalizing on that. Well, he did, but not all the way. So in this game, the way combos work is that many hits do a thing called limit. And when you get 100% limit, you get a blue ring around you, you get full invincibility, but you can't air tech, so you just send to ground. And after that, people can do whatever crazy Oka setups they want. So Duckator holding onto a big damage card. He's gonna be fished for that. Oh, there you go. He's gonna wanna chain that into it, like that. 66B, that's the Saki. Oh man, it's the Old Spice confirmed. We, we, we established that on a Test Hero stream earlier. The new, uh, the four card uh, Red Slice is the Old Spice card. Old Spice? Old Spice. <laughs> that's new to me. Bane not doing a good job of using his meter. He's been holding onto a full hand for a while now. Had some chances to use Ron, never really went for it. Ron still finds the damage card. You can combo after it. All right, catches the high jump with the J5A, very strong. Uh, ooh, finds himself in the corner, eating a full combo from Yukari. And Yukari's holding onto the round, which is a very strong no, piece of okay. card. No high jump, though. Makes it out either way. Oh, I'm just trying to read the uh, ground tech. Straight Pinwheel into Ron. Ron. Here we go. Pinwheel. This is a free reset. Re free reset. It's a guard crush. No combo, though. Sometimes that was a bad confirmed. air tech. That was oh. a bad confirm. 6 XP didn't take him out. Oh, he's got a sliver of HP now. So this weather makes it so you can graze melee, and that pinwheel attack grazes the whole time, basically making it a reversal. Very strong attack in Spring Haze. And now they really have to tiptoe around each other. Duck is throwing out the private square in the midst of neutral. Oh, no, 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 no. The ran in response was not a good decision because in private square, that is Saki is private square. It, 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 it's her time. So that card straight up doubles the opponent's frame data. Everything they do is twice as slow. It also includes block stun. So they're in block stun twice as long, they're in hit stun twice as long. You don't do anything in that card except for block and pray. Okay, clean combo. And he's got, got a limit the... into killing doll. Oh, spicy. That's a guard crush. Oh man, No combo, so he didn't have enough time to set up the actual second killing doll in his hand. There's a little gravestone for Long you. Block. That's a good corner carry. Oh, straight into the pinwheel. But that's bad because he wasn't holding a uh, spell card to uh, cancel off him. I think he was a little bit uh, late on that link with the bullets. Mm -hmm. No setup, holding onto the damage card. Oh, that's air unblockable. Oh, nice turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Wrong block, wrong block. Go for the crush. And that's okay. under. Oh, and the, and the last bullet at the top takes up the last bit of his HP. Wow, he got stair comboed by one attack. All right, 1-0 Duckator. As we can see, Duckator still, uh, he still got the Saki, man. All right, game two, let's go. Doesn't go for the full dial. Maybe he was just doing 4A. That was, that was definitely 4A. Like, nobody walks up there and does, uh... 5A? Yukari does. Her 5A is amazing. Oh, which the big gas normal. Okay, and right. your sun shower. This is a prime Yukari um, weather. So in this weather, all wrong blocks are an instant guard crush. Instead of, instead of working for your meal, you just get it. You just get it. You just need one wrong block. Leveling up that pinwheel. Another unknown uh, or un underutilized uh, fact of sun shower is that when you border escape in sun shower, you, you just get the orb back right away, so. I wanted to introduce border escaping, but they're not really doing it that much. They're all just dumping out and dashing out. Well, I mean, when it comes to border escaping, there's just prime melee opportunities that you you know you want to look for. And here we go. We got one of those setup cards again. This is private. Back oh, dashes. Sorry, doll. Just blocks the whole thing. Too much respect. There's a border escape. So in this game, you can cancel block stun into a dash. You can go forwards, backwards, or up into a high jump. And since you're grazing, melee still hits you, but you can escape if you time uh, it correctly and do it during their bullet. All right, um, Bane holding on to objective border. It's big a, neutral uh, card. Very big neutral card. Fishing for that air unlockable. No air tech though. Good border escape. Yeah. Gets him in the corner. Nice. Ooh, drops a combo. No, oh, that was a bad drop. And he's fishing for the Rand. There's the Rand. 
This is a chance to get the crush here. You can take the game right here. Duckator has to block very oh. precisely here. One more hit on both sides. All right, blocking, he lost blocking. Oh, he's so scared. Duckator out of spirit. Oh, he was fishing there. Oh, man. Just a little too short on the J5A. Made soon with the double bullets. Here we see that Rock, Paper, Scissors in action. Bolts just beating out the melee option. Oh, we that got was there on Lockable, oh, yeah, I think. We, we had a bit of a juggle right there. Oh, he just didn't graze the whole thing. Air unblockable. Here's Private Square. Private you Square. You are blocking. Private Square. Get socky I don't know why Ooh. he slowed down there. Okay. Just keep going. Okay. I think he was going for a very specific bullet heavy string there. I don't know why you don't just fish for wrong blocks of melee. Gets the air unblockable 5A. No real confirm there unless you're holding on to a spell card. Nice spacing on the J5A. Hits him out of his anti-air bullet. Oh yeah, and that's one of the uh, prime Yukari strategies. Uh, to just space your J5A in such a way where you will be safe every time you throw it out. So that Ah Yukari is setting up. That's a really interesting bullet that doesn't fire until you actually hit the opponent. When you hit the opponent, it fires and basically juggles them forever. They, like, they're just up there and you can do whatever you want to them. So it's a really good neutral tool when you're doing all these bullet heavy trades. Because it actually, it actually lets you combo off your bullets. I'm get you out the 6A. That's basically a burst, but you can only do it on the ground and when you're in block stun. Ooh, okay. Like that. It's invincible until the frame it comes out, so you can't trade with it. Oh my gosh, I have to point out that Snow just got rid of uh, Bane's ran. That was not a good confirm. That was a bit of a waste. Oh. Mm. So that pinwheel is upper body invul, but that attack that Sokka used air to ground has a big hitbox. I think I know what he was going for though, because when you throw out the uh, the raw six two three P, your your hurtbox is lowered and you can you hit them from like below in the counter hits. Yeah, but Duck Aider's vertical spacing is really good there. Yeah, he had very good horizontal uh, and vertical spacing there. All right, Duck Aider advances. So Duck Aider now in loser semis. Okay, so next up should be uh, Tessiro and... Uh... We got two of the crowd favorites. Not one, <laughs> but two of the crowd favorites. We got Tess versus Sigitz. Hold on, we're getting word from our uh, pr production here. Yeah, I was right. Tess versus Sigitz. Okay. I wonder if he's going to bust out the green spark. All you have to do is land cancel it. <laughs> That's too advanced for our new viewers. <laughs> we'll be on commentary until uh, their set finishes. And once we get to Windows Side, where me and Bomb are going to fight, that's when you'll have Test Zero. And We're I doing loser semis, too. Oh, OK. You guys see this shirt? You're going to see it soon. Look at this. Tilted and salty. <laughs> it was mirrored in the stream, but oh, don't I worry about it. I should have bought myself a Frosty Frosty shirt. I already bought one, but this is a better shirt. C can you buy me one? <laughs> no. No, I'm just kidding. You got to buy it soon. That's our prize pool. Mm -hmm. I know. That is our prize pool, isn't it? Hey. Yeah. Pay me. Hey, Rick, go buy me a shirt. <laughs> go buy me a shirt. <laughs> the prize pool. We're so poverty, we can't even buy a shirt, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, medium. Medium will do. All right, we have one purchase. Frost, Frost, and Soku <laughs> going into the prize pool right now. More money for me. So he says, all right, so this is Sigitz and Tessiro. Um, if you guys do not know Tessiro, uh, he's been in the community for such a long time. He's been running uh, uh, tournaments, his Soku Saturdays, end of the year, 10th of Soku anniversary. The guy's got a name in our, uh, in our very Soku community. Like, the community could very well have died mm -hmm. in the English community if Tessiro wasn't around. He's been single-handedly keeping, like, interest in casual competitive events, and even, like, like actual competitive events for, like, money, right? Mm -hmm. This guy's been doing it all on his own as a thankless job for years. And now he's here at Frosty Fosting's top six, showing off that he actually can play this game, contrary to popular opinion. Oh, Tessiro plays Soku? Is that Tessiro? 
So we got Marissa, close range, big burst character. And then Komachi, fast, long range, but handles poorly. Got to be careful. And if you guys hear no sound, it's not your computers. Okay. Bit of technical difficulty. Do they hear us? Side. I know I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys are fine. The game sounds fine. Yeah. Yeah, earlier we had a problem setting up the stream where uh, Fahim's uh, copy of Soku kept crashing because there was some uh, uh, something to do with the uh, HDMI cord he was uh, plugged into. Mm. I think the fix he had before was he restarted his PC, right? I was, I don't know. I didn't see him do it. Hmm. <laughs> By the way, I just want to point out, do you guys see Fahim's absolutely like chronically depressing desktop? There's not a <laughs> single icon on this desktop, it is black. This is his backup laptop. He, <laughs> he, he had nothing on this, there was just Soku on this. My point still stands, dude. I mean, when you want to travel the country, you need to bring Soko with you. This guy, he's actually more prepared than we are. He's not high enough level of a shill, dude. If he was a high enough level shill, he'd be shilling, you know, on his computer. On stream. No need for a delay test. Here we go, and straight into it. Sigurds with a big pickup. Goes for a reset. Juggles, juggles, juggles. A little fun oh. with his pressure. Catching the air attack with the 6 is also an air that, unblockable. Yep, that is the biggest air unblockable in the game on a normal move. So one of the scariest things about Komachi is the sheer range of her melees. And there, it's something that'll uh, hook you out whenever you try to press the button. And yes. Komachi will honestly always try to space it in such a way where she will hit you. They're huge and they're all air unblockable. Taste of death. Ooh. Goes to the air attack catch. That's a close combo. From the Attacks out of the Oki. Oh, that was a, I think that was two six six eight colliding. Mercedes is faster though. Hits it from behind. Fishing for the wrong blocks in the stagger, but it gets mashed out. So that right there, that half circle is Kamachi's J2A. That is the cross up machine. Oh, puts him in the pillar. So in this pillar, your movement speed is slow. You are not going anywhere. So normally, if you don't mess up the Oki, you get just crazy, crazy staggers. Whoa. Very clean. Tester with the call team. out. You are going to jump right here, right now. Oh, he's got all the call outs. Watching every jump, watching every bullet. Sigurd sitting on five cards. Maybe Dragon Meteor? Tess just staggering Sigurds to death, man. And Tessera has a uh, one level on the Taste of Death, and that is one of the staple Komachi cards because it's an extra melee cancel that you can mix up. He also got Pink Scythe, the Komachi combo tool. This character is unplayable without that card right there. Don't tech Komachi. Surprise so didn't go for Dragon Meteor. Sigurds is holding on to a lot of damage right now with that Dragon Meteor. Yes, that empties his hand and does like 4,000 damage. All right, very clean. Tessero is just kind of kicking ass right now, though. Reverse J2A and oh, tries and to dead. match it. Woo! All right. Tessero, holy moly. 1-0 to Tessero. All right. Here's oh. Sigurds. There's Marissa 660. She's got a broom, and she's swinging it. Pushes him a bit too far to continue that string. That was an interesting option. Oh, that's 2 through 6, isn't it? Default 2 through 6, yep. Mm -hmm. So Komachi has these little whiffs you can shoot out. And if they hit something, then they linger for a bit, and then she can explode them. Facing the wrong way. A bit scary for Sigurds there. Oh, whips the button. Don't tech Kamachi ever, ever, ever. Oh, this we got Typhoon. Oh, this is so bad for Sigurds right now because so, Kamachi, is... no, hold on. Kamachi just is so dominant in Typhoon, I feel. And the only thing Sigurds can really do in this situation is uh, just start poking with his, his jump A's. So for the uninitiated, this is the weather. In this weather, both players gain super armor and they lose the ability to block. 
So it just kind of becomes like a gorilla fest. Everyone's oh. hitting buttons. And it's always better for the player who's winning because Typhoon will, it, it's a game sealer. More or less. You can't block. Well, you're on a pixel, you're never just done. Like right there. Oh, nice cross up. Cross up J5A, taking Sigurds out. And then the round two, Sigurds is fighting for his life right now. Wow, match point for Tessio. With the J8A, he tries to get an air tech catch. Four quarter escape. All right, we got corner pressure, heavy fog, except he has full HP. Nice bomb. Just a reversal you can always call on. Bit of a Resets. drop combo, okay. No, no, that was a reset. We're in North America, what do you think this is? Oh, the American resets. Always planned, especially in this game. Ooh, stagger, 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 stagger. Now in vapor. What's in my hand? What's in your hand? Yep, Marissa's J5A. I bet you he's holding DP. Marissa? Yeah, Marissa. Oh, that move is really minus. He had no spirit to cancel in that special. He tries to board us, get the far five, get hit by the 6A. Nice block on the cross up. Tessier looking low on HP, but he has some momentum on his side right now. And the reverse J. Uh, J2A. Oh, catches his back dash. Okay. That's a push block. Graze what you can, Sigurds. This is it. Ooh, blocks across. Oh, ooh, back dash on the jab. Okay, far from the end of J, uh, 5B. Got a bit of spaghetti, back dashes in corner. Grazing bullets, don't graze that. That's her air tucking and blocking, that's the important part of air tucking. Ooh, and a clean combo. Oh, the monsoon business. A full dial there. Trying to catch the trigger happy movement. Oh, it misses the combo. Oh, it gets counter hit. It goes for Whoa, the life swap the... and it was a dodge. No, no, no. no. That was a... Uh... Oh, uh... That was life cut. Yeah, life cut. Sorry. So that five card that he missed simply cuts your life in half. Very simple card. It's got very few confirms, though, and it does a huge amount of damage. Master Spark. Oh, and Diamond Dust. You're not ground second up. anywhere. Ooh, no defensive okay. parts of test. Dash is out. Dash is under again. Sigurds avoiding the air unblockable. Land cancels the bullet. Sigurds is right now. the VE, no confirm. Oh, oh and the 6A. The, that's a Marisa classic. <laughs> I think he low profiled J6A. Or he would have. On one. To quote Tessiro, don't you wish you could just get hit by Marissa 6A? Whatever you say, Zero News. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fishing for air techs. Yeah, you can't board escape Kamachi. That 4A goes very, very high. Full dial. Uh, Tempest, the weather that turns everyone into Aya Shamemaru. Yes, this makes everyone's dash speed go crazy. In addition, you get an uh, extra air dash, too. When normally you have two, you have three. It's not really relevant unless you're doing some crazy combo. Excellent. Catches the, the, the D6 with the J2A there. Gets him, uh, lands him a nice counter hit. It was the wrong side, so no confirm, though. Uh, well, it's safe. So Tess actually recently picked up that card. That card has some really niche uses, where it just does, like, 4,000 damage. Oh, yeah, and it's best used if your opponent's on, like, the other side of the screen. Yeah, you use it as an anti-air if they go too high with the air approach. I mean, I also feel like it does like a lot of orb damage because if you start blocking that, you know, you could you could easily lose about two orbs and that could lead to a crush. I think it can just full crush someone. I haven't seen it yet. Two way, two way, two way, two way. Sun shower. Oh, misses. Start up J two A is too good. No, no, no. That, that wasn't a counter hit, so it actually just lifts. Holding on to two yellow shower. stuffs and a final spark. I love how Tessiro just had Whoa. a fearless jump there. Sigurd's going for a charged butt slam. Gets counter out of it. Sigurd's going to be fishing for this final spark. Okay. It's going to end the round for sure. This card does damage. Whoa! Whoa. That was a miss input. Tessiro misses the combo and a taste of death, though. Gets a punish on that 6 xc Kind of.
Quick on the border. Wow, that was a sick rejo. Wow, that was a sick rejo. Oh, Again, no, 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 he's no, going no, for no. the sick confirms, but... Say it's living on a prayer. Whoa! Oh. Okay! Yellow there, stuff! There we go. I think if he got a broom ride right there, it would've killed. Oh! oh. Game goes to Sigets on the count of... I'm sorry, on t t Tessier on, on account of Sigets' bash. He didn't expect the bullet cancel there. Oh, man. Tessier will fully dabbing on Sigets here. He might have also missed a jumping, but because there was no counter hit, uh -huh. he wasn't mashing. If he hit a button, that bullet can counter hit. Are we doing winners right now? Are we doing losers semis first? Fahim, if we do if we do winners now, then lose have to play three games in a row. Huh? Are we doing winners right now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yo, what's up? Yo. This is Tessiro. Sweet Pea. How you we doing? are here at Frosty Faustings. So cool community out here. Yeah, we out here. Uh, some really electrifying matches today. Yeah, I was, I was sweating really versus Sigurds. I didn't think I would pull that off. You know, you keep saying, oh, I'm going to commentate. I'm going to commentate. I'm like, this man is going to mess around and win. <laughs> yeah, I'm not winning. No, I, I don't win. believe it. You won, you won your match, and now you have uh, to yeah, go Yeah, I won back. my match. You have to go back into the pool. Well. Yeah, I mean, that was good. So, uh, Zero fuse this is going to be winner's finals next. next. Zero Fuse and the Bomb. If you're well-versed in the Silk community, you already know these names. Yeah. But if you don't, I'll, I'll introduce them a little bit for you. So, uh, the Bomb came out here from, uh, I think, Cali. <laughs> Cali? Yeah, he came all the way out <laughs> from the West Coast. Oh, wow. He flew for out For Soku. Just this tournament? Just this tournament, Crazy. man. He's not even entering other tournaments. He's here for Soku. Soku players are real, man. They'll come out just for this tournament. Yeah, we got to represent. I think, like, at least half of the players, or more than half of the players that showed up for this tournament only showed up for this tournament. Yeah. It's dedication. You guys definitely. should definitely come out if, you, if we make it to uh, Combo Breaker. Fahim is working on that. Yeah. So if he does come out, make sure to show out, come out and show some love. I might be there. Tess might be there. Yeah. There you know. So, yeah. So, uh, Zero Fuse. Oh, actually, I should finish up with the Bomb. Yeah, the Bomb from Cali, Iku Main. Actually, pretty aggressive for an Iku player. Got solid confirms. Likes to do damage. He's got good, good fundamentals, but he can get a little antsy sometimes. Oh, Fahim. Meanwhile, Zero Fuse, local player. No, 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 he, no. Fahim is working on getting Soku to CD. So I think he filled out the form at least like last week. He's trying. Yeah, to figure but he's out working on it. So yeah. There's no confirmation for that yet. So yeah, uh, Zero Fuse, rock solid patchy player. Yeah. He's local, so he didn't have to go very far. But he's still here anyways. And he got, uh, I think, second place <laughs> at the place. end of the year tournament online. So one of the biggest online tournaments in Soku. So at like at least 60 people. Definitely got some he got second place out of all those guys. And the best Soku players outside of Japan playing that every single year. So. Yeah, we're getting it. Well, we have no two very to good check players. The decks on stream. We don't want any mistakes once we really get into the match. <laughs> Diamond skin is is Diamond skin a meme or no? It's I'll, what? Diamond skin for Petroli. Is it a meme or not? I don't think it's a meme. No, the community definitely loves Soku, for sure. 
If you go to the uh, Discord, you'll definitely see all of them. Okay, so yeah, um, first player, the one closer to the camera is Zero Fuse. Second player, furthest from the camera, is the bomb. Zero Fuse likes to play on keyboard. The bomb is a pad player, pad warriors. Makes it a little easier to set up, though. Yeah. It's definitely a headache where you gotta set up two keyboard versus keyboard. Versus keyboard. <laughs> but at least that won't happen anymore. Okay. You only got one keyboard player left. That's Zero Fuse. We're doing the right test. Okay, they're button checking. Does the tournament give yellow? Are you guys gonna do that? Probably not. <laughs> nah. Okay, so they're just gonna go. We do a delay test offline. Button off checks. <laughs> yeah, delay test offline. You gotta make sure the delay's right. Uh, audio dead. Oh yeah, this said audio's dead. Okay, we're just gonna fix the audio and then we'll go right into the match. They're gonna finish their button check, I guess. So like before, so did Fahim like contact you before he bought uh, Soku the Frosty, or was it just like Fahim won himself? And then you yeah, Fahim so um, basically went to Elvin. He's like, let's get a side turn. I want a side tournament for this game. And uh, Elvin's Elvin's really nice with could these. Be louder. Commentary could be louder. I mean, yeah. we'll talk louder. Yeah, yeah we'll talk louder. <laughs> I think that's I hear us. something. That's, that's on us. That's definitely us. Yeah, PC fighting games are uh, are fun. We're fun. See if we have audio. I can hear the game. All right, I can hear the game. Yeah, there we go. We good. All right, we're live. So cool with sound, so you can hear those charge moves. You know, block right. Okay. Okay, so this is button checker. They're going right in. I mean, they. Hi, guys. Oh, okay, so we're getting a little bit of thing here. There's no audio on the setup itself. Yeah, so the setup's not having audio. Well, I take a lot of long breaks from Soku, but I just come around and blur, so it's okay. A lot of people don't particularly know. I've dead ass never heard of Sweet Pea. Dead ass. <laughs> dead ass. Dude, Sweet Pea is an OG. Definitely an OG player. For sure. If you don't know Sweet Pea, you don't know Soku. You just weren't around for the uh, for the Magister Auric times. That's all. That's when I was around, when Magister Auric was playing. Then they stopped and I kind of fell off. So currently they're resetting the TV. Yeah, they're trying to get the audio setting on the TV so that the players can hear it. You know, you need Soku with the sounds. I mean, I played Sigus without sound. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Play Sigus without sound. I mean, we didn't care. We don't, we're not very audio players. I mean, I don't usually turn the audio on for Soku because, like, once you play Soku for a certain amount of years, you get tired. Like, of the audio. Uh, and now we can't hear anymore. And now nothing. Audio. This is crazy. Why does it keep resetting like that? <sighs> Tassa for a Y. Yeah, it's an old game. It's 10 years old. Yeah, Tassifro coding. Tassifro, uh, please. Uh, it's uh, on and bits of twine. Basically. This is Tasso code at work. We just got to MacGyver it together. That's all. 10-10. And a bunch of game mods keeping it from falling apart on modern PCs. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to rip the game up from the ground up at some point. This is why we need Soku HD. I think we need to uh, contact Zun or somebody to make this happen. Honestly, I think enough people will buy Soku HD for them to make it. <laughs> you mean like compatibility mode? Yo, if we get Soku HD before Melted HD, it'd be crazy. I don't think it. 
I don't think it would help. Tsukihime remake. Right. Right. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the game's audio. Yeah, it's 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 not your fault. Don't worry. Okay, so we're getting into the set now. So After guess, that little bit of technical difficulties. Oh, so they fixed it? They're going to move the camera a little bit. And they're going to delay check again, or they're going to get into it? Delay. What? No, they're getting into it. Oh, right, in, right into so it. So here we are. Okay. This is winner's finals here at Frosty Fausting's yep. Kiso Tensaku Side Tournament Extravaganza. Okay. Good trade. Playing some intense neutral right now. Yeah, so the bomb. He's feeling each other out in neutral. Alright, the bomb then. Zerfu's getting some good damage off us. Right, limit? No knockdown. We don't knock, we don't combo those. Here we go. Pressure, right. that's plus. Ooh, stagger pressure. Limit. Yeah. Despite what they look like, Iku's people is actually at frame advantage when you block them. And she doesn't need to jump in. Each one of her uh, low moves does exactly one of those things. Okay, your right, satellite sunflower. Right. Basically, you don't, you can't hit anything while this yeah. is on top of you. Zero Fuse has complete dominance with this card. Crazy. Ooh, Ooh the counter hit. Eating the, yeah. Eating bullets in neutral. That's how you die. He gets patchy. Oh, catches the border escape, but can't combo from the counter hit. Oh, and Zero wow. Fuse with the dash A taking out the bomb. I here. mean, her dash A is a pretty good. Uh, yeah, anti great in here. 100%. Reminds me of Komachi's jab. Zero Fuse is making sure to stay in all the areas where uh, Iku has a hard time hitting you. And that's really good. Cool. And here's another one. And Sun Shower on top of this. Oh, but the bomb with the aggressive poke keeping Zero Fuse off of him, but he has to escape to the sky, and that's exactly where Zero Fuse wants him. I mean. Patoli is really good with her Jade, eh? You will underestimate it, but once you get hit with it a few times, you'll understand not to pay. Yeah, Zerfi is really making that Jade work for him. As the bomb has the corner pressure here, chases the knockdown, but here's the reversal from Fuse. And he gets a oh, combo. Wow. Oh, almost. almost. Yo, Drizzle right now. This boosts the damage of the card, but oh, he's getting... Oh, oh Zerfi jumps he gets into it! Out of card. Crazy. He took 3k damage and more. Wow, and orb damage, but Zerfi is bringing it right back. One with the pressure, air pressure. All right, back into the one. One J two A from the bomb. That's it. Oh, Ooh. five One hit. Oh, the bomb whipping the jab. Zero view is getting Zero the nice going up one zero. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Very electrifying games here today. Electrifying. Say that because Eku's <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Literally. You clever. Okay. Yeah, clever commentary. This is game two. This is the first of five. This is winner's final. Top right. four. The bomb off a great neutral start. A good present. A 60 to whip punish that jump A. Drops combo though. Oh, the just overhead in Sun Shower, yeah. Sun Shower turns it into a real fighting game. Real, only the overheads in those are like five times faster. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to see you to react to a 12 frame overhead. It breaks the horde mid Okay. Zero Fuse, We're trying to build up that Sunflower card. Meanwhile, the bomb with a full hand, just waiting okay, to unleash wait. it. Um, looks like the bomb is planning to use it off too soon. Oh, sorry. Okay. Nice catch on the board. Thank you. Oh. Uh, there we go. Nice reset from the bomb. Okay, Time jumps out. Okay, nice. And here's. Sunflower. Oh, that's the bomb takes the opportunity to jump out, but the snow might ruin his deck, and he's gotten his veil taken away, so now he can't use it as a reversal when Zero Fuse gets the momentum back here. Ooh, okay. Fireball is close. Very bomb close. trying to get in. Gets the All right, the bomb holding a five card. No, no Far knockdown. Wow. He's getting for out of it. Okay, did get veil back here. See what this Aurora weather is. Might the bomb trying the to put here. on the pressure. Get himself on the game. Ooh, great stagger. Power Rangers is right behind us, actually. Okay. 
Okay, so here we are. Six Zs. Knock him down. Here we go. Zero Fuse. Kind of struggling in neutral now. The bomb's kind of starting like to find the his bomb is figuring it out. Yeah. Well, that's a good coin. But Zero Fuse still trying to get his way back into the game. Well, that's some a perfect good flight characters will find you looking at a very, very patient team. Okay. Nice. Get the knockdown. The Trying to get out. He could confirm that. Okay. Together and again, he's, he's really comparable hits. Not going by the bomb and a great board escape from zero views. Hmm. Another Aurora. It's Aurora Foon! Oh, Aurora Foon! <laughs> oh no! You can't escape no matter where you go. There's nothing you can do about that. Offline, offline, doesn't matter. Nope, Warfoon does not have any names. Okay, nice. Okay, back to normal. The brawl is over, the sunflower is up. Oh, and oh, the two wow. He does right not care it. about the spell card at all. You have to care about it now. Zero Fuse escaped me. I mean, Zero, the bomb escaped me the other side, but he gets tagged by Fireball. This is very close. Lightning Ooh, armor in an nice anti air. Versus the J2A. Nice. Okay. Beautiful answer. That's 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one close set here. Both players really trying their all. Doing their best. All right, Zero Fuse. Nice, aggressive play. Start off this pivotal game three. Knockdown for Zero. Nice, five feet. Ooh, Zero Fuse definitely denying him the escape. And yeah. Bomb gotta watch those tech buttons. Oh, but nice DTA. Eh? Okay, it's the bomb's turn. Catches the border escape. Nice win. Six right. close. Oh, that was probably a mistake. He did far A and winded the drill. He didn't hit confirm. Okay, zero fuse. Getting countered with the T2 A right there. Spring Haze will make sure there's no real some nice OP right here. Now he tried to, tried to okay. drain all his orbs with the 6 6 C. Ooh, nice catch. Ooh, Zero Fuse is really good with his air drop, with his air pressure. Definitely. Very superb. The bomb breaking another one to get out. The bomb can't afford to get hit with anything right now nope. in the storm. This kind of, oh, oh no. That's it. Zero Fuse comes right down on him. Good Dust Storm phase, is man. a really uh, scary weather to play against Equalon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for Patchy, too, because it turns everything into an knockdown. Mm -hmm. Even those and both of the J2As are very crazy on the time of it. Ooh, okay. He okay. probably expected that to limit, but he gets Sunflower anyway. Intended purpose happens. Back tech into corner to waste time. Smart. Okay. Zero is really good Ooh, at predicting when he's going to come out. At the corner. Crazy. J2A, that's the punish. The bomb Okay, turn. I'm gonna give himself some OP. And mm. wake up two card again. He saw that he was holding. And he's that. getting the full zone. Oh, oh nope. No nope, flimmit. Oh, Almost. the bomb getting tagged by the two spears. You gotta watch out for those. Zero fuse with a nice border escape to get out of pressure. Oh, Diamond does. This could turn things around if the bomb could get the knockdown, but he won't have the chance because the zero fuse gets the conversion there. Zero fuse really, really like putting on pressure. He's, he's good. It, it seems like as the game progresses, he's getting more and more aggressive, finding more holes to exploit. Yeah, he, he's definitely starting to figure this out, this mm -hmm. matchup. All right, so possibly the potential last game of the set right here. It's up to the bomb to try to uh, adapt his way back into the set. The bomb off to a good start. He has to leave. Another Aurora. No Foon this time. Doesn't seem to be anything too special, though. Nothing that affects the game, though. Okay. Yeah, uh, get you out of the corner. Really here. interesting card. Uh, zero Q using Tengu Fan, which makes your movement speed faster. Yeah. It's actually pretty good on Patchouli because. She is very slow. Yeah. It extends her, her air dash, and it actually gives her more combo options. Oh. Did not know that. No, oh, and, uh, Typhoon in the middle of the spell typhoon. card. Actually, this is actually a good place to use the Thunder Armor if he opts to. Or the five card, zero fuse. Have to be careful. EQ with Typhoon is actually super scary. Okay, they're opting to just play more neutral. 
right? So even right now. Right. Just biding their time until Typhoon is gone. Your tail. Your is low on spear right now. No. Nice. Confirm. Oh, he didn't have enough meter for Flav card. He thought he would. J2A trades, not able to confirm. 6-6-B on Wake Up, but Zerfi stops the combo from that too. The cross up J2A. Oh, this is so close. Oh, the board escape from Devon, perfect. Ooh, nice block of the J8A, but he could just tag. Yeah, the interception right there. Hmm. Late cancel, caught the J5A. The Devon thought he had the punish right there. Man, I thought that was right. Devon's hands right there, but Zerfi is just so... All right, tag into J2A. So Win hard it. to take down. Okay. The board escape from Fuse. Back okay. to the Okay. Zero trying to put on a pressure. Zero There you go. Nice wow. Nice punch. Nice cross up. This guy. Zero Fuse playing the key away. Okay, nice G2A throw. That's the Good bomb. Good conversion. He's got his five card up. Open the fans ready. know it as Exodia. <laughs> Can he land it though? It's, it's not that Zero hard to confirm. Zero Fuse getting particularly get slippery, realizing he has this card now. Yeah, that could turn the whole match around. Oh, that's the hit! That's the confirm, that's and it. here it is. It's the big damage, and Obliterate. he gets the limit, and he gets Oki, even if you tech out. Nothing you could do. Okay, the this mom is, actually uh, the mom. not getting that much out of it. Zero Fuse dealt with that very well, not yeah. teching. I was thinking he could get a lot more. All right, now, the, now it's Zero Fuse's turn. Oh, Devon tried to escape to the ceiling, but the J2A and the stalactite from Dewspear. Not sure if that was the best idea, since he still had the uh, presence in neutral. Oh, that was a good punish opportunity, I think. It's still match point. This is set point for, the, for Zero Fuse right now. Devon getting Ooh. hit with the 6C, Tag and Zero Fuse going to take it 3 to 1. 6C poke is really good for people throwing bullets, in, and it is pretty dense. Not her densest, but. It goes through a lot of stuff. Okay, so that's next is gonna be me versus Duckator. Oh wow, that's gonna be a match to see. Hey, that's yep. a run back. <laughs> is Duck still here? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go find Duck. He's probably in DB Tag somewhere, and we'll get the next match started. You can stay if you want. Oh, well, yeah, I'll just wait here. You want? Tickets, you want right. to? Come on, boss. <laughs> did it, well, I don't want to take the chance from anyone else. Did, any, did anyone else want to commentate? Yeah, you're with tickets. He's right behind you. Yeah. Are we on? Very nice Pacholi play there. Zero Fuse, I haven't seen a lot of him, but from what I see, he's really, really well versed in his patrol and stuff. I like his aggression. His aggression is, I guess, one of his most playing points. Oh no, Duck Eater is in BB Tag Pool. Okay, so they're going to find Duck Eater for Tessiro. Yosu, uh, no, Yosu's Tessiro not here. In uh, no. that set. So it's on. Sick, it's on commentary here. Yep. Wait, wait, where'd your, where'd your <laughs> thing go, man? Right here. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> Yeah, the sickest dude, walk, was, was walking around all cute for dude, most of the day. <laughs> it was so hot in that thing. <laughs> room full of people. I had, to, I had to rep the shirt. Yeah, I, I already <laughs> I already have mine. All right. So yeah, make sure to go to the match where, you know, support us, get some Soku shirts. Oh, yeah. Make sure you Fahim go. Fahim still has a lot more Soku shirts in all sides. You go and you can order a Soku shirt. Hey, Owl. Nice to see you. Better do a good. Do a good what? I'm out. I lost. Yeah, he got blasted already. I lost the tournament and I lost five bucks to K. Wait, how did you lose five bucks? Because <laughs> <laughs> I bet on that last match. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you bet on? Oh, wait, you bet, bet on, on the, the bomb? bomb? Yeah. Oh, man. I had a feeling Zero Fuse was going to take it just because two perfect flight characters is going to be for like a really <laughs> neutral, heavy defensive game. <laughs> Hi, Zero Fuse. 
Yeah, uh, there's a Maturino. I'm not. I'll try to get uh, Fahim to post it in there. Uh, but there's a Maturino <laughs> with Soku shirts. The fifteen dollars so, each. So fucking hot in that thing. <laughs> Give us excuses for your loss versus Tess. Uh, I just played bad. I was, he, I was shaking and I missed and put a bunch of stuff and I played bad. He stopped playing. He stopped playing Soku and started playing Ken, and that's where he went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Said he has. I can't believe you. Is it the delay? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he just played better than I did. Nah, Tessa's really playing a lot. No suicide bombs. Well, dude, a lot I, should, better than I, I wanted before. to play suicide bombs. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's probably not the best idea, so I didn't do it. No. <laughs> you see, your delay is literally unplayable. I'm glad I didn't have to play against Sakia because hitting the delay com or the delayed J5A combo against Sakia and zero delay. Very different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of the links are very different. I've been hearing it from a lot of Soku players. Uh, Pengi specifically, he told me this. He said, um, I can play eight delay and hit links, but play hitting links here is way harder. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, we have delay. Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're so used to the delay, we can't play offline anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Dude, we're, we're really cursed. <laughs> oh, well. Nah, that just goes to say that our net code, net code is nice. It's nice. Okay. Yeah, I should have tried playing the bombs. I, they might have made them more scared. They work. They the work against Komachi too. So I, I don't know. More delay, better. And the shit post city. <laughs> <laughs> if I had money for play tickets and equipment. Hmm. <laughs> well, we 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 provided keyboards here. Yeah, we had extra equipment. I, I didn't know about this keyboard splitting thing before I came here, but it's actually magic, and yeah, it makes it makes local play possible, for sure. Oh no, under 200 viewers. <laughs> Soku is killing the stream. We, we killed the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we got 200 viewers though. Crazy. Hopefully, Duck Gator gets back from his tag pool soon. Yeah, he might be playing. Most viewers we ever had. I don't. I mean, probably because I think we only usually get around a hundred, maybe a little over a hundred. Yeah. There are no Alice players left in the top four. No. No. No Remy. Where are the Remy players? No. We no. have a Sakia, a Komachi, a Patchouli, and an Iku for our top four. Hmm. Our top. No six, Yuyuko. Nice. Nope. Our top. Our top six added uh, Marissa and Yukari. Marissa and Yukari. Well, Marissa and Yukari are two, I, I would say, undervalued characters, personally. I don't think anybody undervalues Marissa. <laughs> she's just she's solidly top tier. She's been solidly top tier since I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, she still plays kind of similar with her J5A. Yeah, Yuko doesn't exist. Let's just not talk yeah, about it. Yeah, we her. removed Yuko from the tournament. <laughs> she's not here. Yeah, this this patch of Soku for Frosty, we definitely did. Yeah, Make sure to take her out of the character game. select. Honestly, so honestly I don't even her. think anybody played her at the tournament. So No, nobody. <laughs> I can't think of any Yuko uh, any players. Yeah, yeah Yuko the, players. Though. There were no Yuko players that even made it out. And Sakuya. I feel like you have to see Sakuya. Yeah, I think we had good character representation just in the people we had, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, no mailing, but, uh, you know. What do you I, mean? There was mailing. <laughs> Come on. There were two mailings here. That's actually, like, she's overrepresented. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I, I guess no one else had two of the two of their characters, but we both got team killed off screen. Yeah, no Reimu, no Raisin. I mean, the preview earlier was my play of Fahim, but those were just casuals. I played Reimu and Raisin in casuals yesterday. I wish the stream had been working. You want EFZ characters to be in Soku? Yes, he's Kana. You no, could, uh, sorry, we you can't. You can hit up Fear Nage for that. No, no, well, no Kana, sorry. <laughs> That's not happening. Nah, I played uh, off stream. I lost the test. Kick my kick my butt. Hey, thanks, man. Oh, I still have the hat. Is my bag like right around the corner? Is it this one? Yeah, I got that. I need that. Hang on. Yeah, I brought the hat. I got to put that on. Yeah, you got to put the hat on. Show him yeah. the sick hat. How did Alice fare? Uh, well, it's me, P, and Sigits right here. 
There we go. Hey, how's it going, Saber? <laughs> Saber, I'm sorry I lost. There man. we go. <laughs> Thank you. See it's a little bent out of shape because it's been in my bag all day. No, I'm still in prime form. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Hey, it happens. I'm only watching the stream for the hat. <laughs> <laughs> stream got 90% better. better. <laughs> See, we're supposed to save the suit for the stream, man. They wanted to see that. <laughs> I, I, was told on, them, I was on I stream told them the you, I, I told them, like, yo, he's out here looking all dapper duff. Like, <laughs> you come here regularly. <laughs> I'm not a weeb. I actually hate anime. I just like Toho. Sorry, man. I mean, Toho and anime are cousins. I mean, not not if you're looking cousins? at Zun's drawings. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> you know it really mixed me up when I learned Zun really does those drawings, and he hasn't gotten <laughs> Wait, better. You didn't know. He has it. How does he not get better? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna shit on Zun. Zun made this possible, and also doesn't he do it all himself, right? Yeah, he does everything. So himself. you gotta respect the man. You gotta get big respect. Those song, those song arrangers are got like. <laughs> Zan. Zan. Zun. 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 Did I watch anything that's not Isekai smartphone? You know? For the lore, we'll say no. But actually, yes. <laughs> as soon as improved, you see the OST Saki face. Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Zun art is so cringe. Do I like frogs? We actually did have a... Uh, yeah, there was a Suwaku player There was a Suwaku here. player here. Yeah. There was more representation for Suwaku than there was for the top tiers. It's actually crazy. That Suwaku player owes me $15. <laughs> Shmup game design gone down the drain. <laughs> I disagree. I think the UFO system is great. UFO? like Yeah, because they brought it back for the, the animal spirits. Oh, okay. I thought UFO was perfect. <laughs> Blue games have good <laughs> mechanics. Yeah, I mean, you saw what happened with Floor Girls. No, no, no. I think uh, the first iteration of the new fi uh, Tassel fighting game where they Bro, were you can doing that dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Duck's playing BB Tag. He'll be back. Yeah, as soon as he finishes the set, he's going to come here and finish his plate. <laughs> <laughs> Am I really? Come on. How does it feel to meet up with so good people at Frosty? It's pretty cool. I mean, everyone here is very nice. There's a lot of people who are here are super cool. So We all had the same energy. We all came as attendees and only entered this game. I so. mean, I came to play like other games and then I lost. Oh, right. Yeah. Right, right. You I, I ended up I ended up not making it to my BB tag pool. But, you know, it happens. I mean, it's there, not like I'm any there are a lot of sharks anyway. in BB tag. So yeah, I'm terrible at tag, that so game. it's fine. So, so cool is what we came here for. It's an important thing right here. Subterranean animism is best. That's a fun one. Any plans for Soka Combo Breaker? I think there's going to be Soka at Combo Breaker. Uh, you'd have to talk to Fahim, but I think yeah. he's setting that up. Yeah, he's trying. He already filled out the form. Uh, we're still waiting to and hear news I, back from it. I'm sure someone's going to go there. And What? Can't say what. I'm a Soku good person. Soka is confirmed for Evo. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I think I think there's going to be a side event at Evo. I don't know if it'll be... Uh, it probably, I mean, Evil, wasn't it? It was at Evil Japan. Like, I don't think it's a registered side event, but I'm sure we'll play it at, at Evo if anyone goes. Any random people stumble into the Soka booth? Uh, a few people. A few people that like, came over and looked. I don't know if anyone really played. Uh, there was one. There was at least one guy on the yeah, first day. Yeah, one guy. Yeah. One guy that Fahim was teaching, but otherwise, other. I mean, we got a lot of, yo, my friend tried to get me to play this weird game, and I'm like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bane's been trying to get me to play, uh, what's it called, Arcana Blood? And Ar I, keep, I keep telling him no. Arcana. Oh, Million Arthur? Yeah, he's trying to get me to play Million Arthur. I keep saying, I keep saying no, that sounds like the worst I mean, title I've ever heard. And then he's like, Million Arthur and he's Arcana like, Blood is good. And he's like, dude, you play Soku. How's that the worst title you've ever heard in your life? Yeah, come on. You can't be that biased. You play Soku. I know, right? It it's a game where you get, like, status effects. Like, you like you set someone on fire whoa, 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 and then you freeze them status and stuff. Effects. Yeah. Oh, like, and there are cards. Oh. Mm, you should play it. <laughs> All there are right. cards. I the guess, cards I, guess I gotta go play it with Bane if we can find a setup. Yeah, no, you have to. Oh, it has a Iori too. Oh shit. Yeah. Maybe I'll go play it. I can't play Arcana Heart. 
Uh, I tried to play at Arcana Heart. It's just... Oh, no, i tell you what happened. I, I bought Arcana Heart, and then Love Max Six Stars came out, and I was just like, forget it. Honestly, a lot of Soku players just don't go to EVO, because we're not, uh, we don't play a lot of games other than Soku. Soku, Soku players are really dormant. Yeah. Um, I'm playing Fighting Herds today, I guess. That's a game I still play. Fighting Herds? I actually like Fighting Herds. Yeah, it's really fun. I play. Uh, Unfortunately, it's off stream, so no one's gonna see it. But you know, Soku I'm gonna go wear the fire. I'm gonna wear the Soku shirt. Make sure everyone sees it. Oh, you know who I ran into yesterday? Hmm. I ran into Wooly. Wooly? Yeah, I ran into Wooly. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I did. I did run it. I ran into him at uh, CEO Taku. Yeah. It's crazy. You remember when he made that Soku video? He made a Soku video. Yeah, they made a Soku video on the Best Friends channel. Holy crap! No, I, I went and gave him. A, I went and gave him a shout out. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> I saw uh, he was. He's here. Yeah, he's here. He's here, and I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but, you know, he looked pretty busy. He was at the Grand Blue setup, so. Oh, he's doing commentary. Sick. Periscope your Fighting Herds games. I don't want anyone to Periscope my Fighting Herds games. Dude, I'm so not good at that game. <laughs> I'm going to try to do better today, but I got rolled yesterday. Went 1-2. <laughs> yeah, we do it. True, true. Nice bonding time. <laughs> yeah, Soko Offline does feel great, though. Uh, it, for, it, for all of you at home who don't get to experience, it's good. Yeah, Offline Soko feels great. It's good. The game looks really, really beautiful. I'm kind of sad I underperformed today because I don't think I lost like more than like four games yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I feel pretty sad. I feel like I should have prepared for it, man. But, you know, it, it is I, I it probably should have gotten warmed up at least. I came into that dry. Can't B and B with no lag. I can't B and B against Sakia with no lag because the timing's different. I don't have Akira on JoJo. Oh, sick! People can't hit confirm without delay. Uh, <laughs> I feel. See, it's just that people. When you're used to playing offline, you need. When you come to a tournament, you need to uh, get in a good amount of casuals. So I did get in some casuals, but yeah, it, you it, know, it really changes. It does. Like. You need at least like a good hour or two of casuals because like your most basic B and Bs will start dropping yeah. and you're gonna look really confused in the set. So you might as well just practice. Like 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 everyone says, the game is completely different offline. Mm -hmm. It's it's super strange. Like charge moves don't scare you as bad offline. Yeah, it's, like, it's really hard to get hit by a charge move. It really is. That was part of the. Uh, that was one of the harder things for my matchup when playing Tess. And uh, I think I played Tess and. QED. Um, with Tess, he was just out neutrally me, but with QED, I could not open him up. Oh, here we are. Tess oh, we here? has returned with it's Duck Tess and Duck Eater. Here we go. All right, we're about to get back into the set, guys. All right, so this shouldn't be too bad setting up since. So, so for everyone who's here who, has a, who doesn't play Soku, we already explained like the weather and stuff and all yeah. the timers. <laughs> Explain, Explain it again. again. All right, I'll, I'll All right. go first. All right, so Soku is a game that functions off of a few systems. One of its most notable systems is its card system. We have a couple different kinds of cards. The most notable ones are spell cards, skill cards, and system cards. All right. Um, what else do we have? It's got so good. All right, let's talk about weather. Yeah. So Soku is a game with no timer. When no. the game starts at the top, you're going to see a timer-like thing. All right, it's going to count up from zero, and it's going to be gray. While it's gray, it's choosing the weather. The first weather it picks is always random, and then it cycles one weather each time anyone hits the wall, hits the floor, or is knocked down, or uses a spell. Yep. And then when it ticks up to 99, the weather will activate, and each weather has a different wacky effect. Weather is not RNG. Weather is RNG. It is RNG. On the first call. Mm -hmm. Now, certain players do, do things like weather manipulation. Like if, uh, let's say you have a yet, uh, <laughs> what is the case? So it's Suika, and she has uh, her four card grab and she puts you in Typhoon, she'll still grab you. Yep. So, being as there's no timer, you can play this game extremely patiently, or you can play it, play it extremely yep. it, fast. It's controlled RNG. Blue Sky is a weather for super players. Yeah, Blue Sky is a weather that benefits. Huh? Not update the bracket. Yikes. Makes sense. I'll tell you the worst <laughs> weather, Typhoon, 
It's uh, every Soku no, player. No, he's talking about the five card Atlas, I'm pretty sure. Not the yeah, four card Atlas. chain grab. No, not that one. Atlas. Anyway, we'll talk about the different weather effects when they come up. Yeah. And we'll definitely make sure to warn you when something's coming up that's kind of dangerous. Yeah. Oh, there's also one weather that's uh that's random that randomly picks a weather. You saw it earlier oh, yeah, get Aurora. an Aurora Foon, but it picks any weather out of the one out of them, and it but it doesn't tell you which one, so you got to figure it out. Uh, some of the most crucial weathers we got: heavy fog, typhoon. Uh, some characters really mm -hmm. benefit from weathers like sprinkle. Uh, sun shower is a really scary one, and diamond dust. Those are the yeah. two scariest weathers in the game, probably. Diamond dust allows. When, when sun shower comes up, if you wrong block a move, you instantly get guard crushed. Yeah. But the orbs don't stick. So they, uh, you regenerate it like immediately. Oh, um, sun, so what is it? Sunlight or sun shower? No, sunlight. Sun shower. No, the other, uh. Sunny. Is sunny. Sunny is also important weather. It allows you to board escape for free. Sunny's the worst weather in the game. Yeah, no. It's the worst. <laughs> I like to use it. Sunny's, sunny's awful because you board escape, it doesn't refill your orbs. No. So you just, it doesn't do anything. True, true. You're just gonna get air crushed instead. I want to talk you a snowball bully, Komachi. Komachi is a pretty big All right, here we go. We're getting into too. the game. It's probably right, a button, button check. Uh, this looks like a real match. Yeah, it looks like they're going at it. No button check. All right, here we go. All right, so Duck Aider already with, with some good hits. A little hits. bit of a drop there from Duck Aider, but that's fine. All right, good 2B anti here. All right, heavy fog. You're going to see a lot of 2Bs from Saki in this matchup because Komachi's got a lot of big buttons, but they're really slow, so she's going to run into the knives. Gonna, yep. uh, so we're in heavy so. fog, so Tess is going to want to get a hit to yeah. gain some of his life. That he heavy lost. fog gives you a vampire effect on all of your moves, so you're going to regen health when you hit your opponent. Let's see what's coming up next on the timer. We have Tempest on the timer. So an important skill card, to, uh, I mean system card to make note of is the uh, penny that you see Tessier is using. It is uh, Soku's push block, but it costs one away. Oh, Typhoon comes up. Both characters have super armor. Neither player can block. Pretty fun weather. It changed from this iteration at SWR where you literally just couldn't press a button. So we picked the library because it's the most, like, it's the easiest to see everything in the game on. There are some stages where it's hard to see stuff, and it's just easier if we always pick the one where it's easy. Duck Duckator probably could have killed him there if he picked a better option. Yeah. That felt really like a close. pretty whack uh, combo there. Cloudy's on the clock here. Cloudy uh, doubles your rate of meter gain and makes your next spell card one card cheaper. The weathers Ooh. also do have their own individual effects, but you cannot see them in the stage. That didn't quite kill him. Here we go. All right, one hit away. He got all the whiffs on him, though. He's dead. That crushes. Nice. Perfect crush. Excellent crush. Setup. All right, we got Dust Storm on the clock. All right. Going into round two here. Dust the Storm makes every hit counter hit. That's got the wrong block 668, but that's actually not plus. Komachi has uh, no okay. melee that are plus on block, unfortunately. Right, so got duck Monsoon is going to make it so that you here. bounce differently off of the wall on the floor and get an extra bounce on knockdown. Allows for a very special combo. All right, Cloudy on the clock again, looking for the cheat meter. Tess probably going to use it there. When you use a card in Cloudy, it turns the weather off immediately. Typhoon on the clock now. He's probably going to look to use the one card to change it. There we go. Now we're in call. All right. That was, was a little to too close setup. there. Sakia's crouch actually goes under that one card from that range. Her 2B is literally her, one of her best reverses. So. Oh, a sense of thrown edge saves him from the combo there. A very interesting card. I don't see a lot of uh, Sakyas use that card. It's actually super, it's the most cool, I think, because if you get hit while you have them out, it, they give a lot of weather crystals. You can change the weather really fast. Yeah. You'll notice when you get hit sometimes, weather crystals pop out of your character, or when you perform certain actions during weathers, and that speeds up the timer. Yeah, like uh, Spring Haze if you graze through the weather. Yep. Uh, in Spring Haze, it's faster. if you graze or block, I'm pretty sure. It'll drop uh, crystals. And then some weathers have other effects that make the timer go faster. Okay, so Duck Aider just used the burst, also important. Uh, so we got Dust Storm on the clock again. And, oh, since Thorn Edge saves him again. Tess unable to get in because the knives keep uh, stopping him. I think it's very good because uh, Kamachi, her neutral is a little delayed since she has to set up him. She has a lot of recovery on All her All right, Tess is in. Uses, hey, he uses the taste of death to uh, reset his pressure there. If you hold it, you can actually cancel it. You can use it to reset your pressure. Gets the three A-Link, sets up two. Uh, I don't know what the name of that card is. <laughs> two of the Blue Wisps. All right, so it's Diamond Dust. All right, so Diamond Dust Knockdown. That's actually really scary. And Diamond Dust, you can't ground tech. 
Nope. And it also takes a little bit of life from you. Yeah, and it takes five. I think it's 500 on scale. Yep. Every time. Okay. Another diamond dust knockdown. Also, every time you get knocked down in diamond dust, it takes 10, uh, 10 ticks off the clock. Or is it 10%? It's one of those. Yeah, the unskilled throwing edge is really doing the unskilled good damage work. from things like diamond dust and poison also can't kill. He probably could have finished there. Stop it, there. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of JoJo references, my buddy. Mm -hmm. Sasaki, of course. All right, six six eight, taste of death, monsoon now. Again, this one changes the bounce rules for. Uh, all combos, so they're gonna you're gonna see them wall bounce differently, ground bounce oh, differently. Oh, that no one card is not good. He couldn't punish them. Okay, Ooh, there we go. All right, Tess takes the first game. Good job, Tess. What an upset! Wow, that was so close. Got my palm sweaty over here. Goodness, <laughs> I'm not even playing. <laughs> I know, I'm not playing. I'm shaking already. Some people joke that Sakuya is a uh, Dio's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Game two. All right. That's immediately opening with instant air, or instant air, J66, right. J5A. But, okay, uh, dodge an S66. All right, here we go. He's in. Let's see what Tess can do. Duckator grazes right. out. Duckator knowing we need to poke. All right, Diamond Dust on the clock. Remember, any knockdown can't be air tech. Mm. He whips the Duckator J2A on landing. Dash on wake up. All right, here we go. Duckator gets the Diamond Dust knockdown. All right. Ooh, Ooh nice poke. Good 4A there. He knows, there's a, he knows there's a big gap there because he used to be. Mm -hmm. All right, test text out of the corner. Waste some time on this private square. Yeah, if your 4A reaches high enough, you can use 4A to get out there. Uh, you can do it against uh, some other characters that do that too. Uh, namely, probably Yomu, uh, Suika. Probably I know you can do it against Marissa after 2 6 All right, Just good four eight anti air. That's fair. Duck Hater looking really powerful this, this time yeah, around. Yeah, Duck looking pretty clean. I think that uh, I think that alternate skill he's using. I'm not sure the name. Yeah, it's a lot of weather crystals. It only goes up every time he levels it too. All right, Sunny now. Sunny uh, uh, decreases your turning radius while you're flying and makes border escapes free. Nice catch on the jump out. Okay, Tess here in the lead, see if he can keep it. I think it also makes flying cheaper. Sunny makes Sunny fun. No, funny. <laughs> Sunny makes Sunny hard to play. All right, Tess here All right, ready now. combo into the wisp there, gets the knockdown. He doesn't have the all two through six yet, so he can't limit there. Duck hitter keeps air attacking. He okay. just keeps getting hit at the top of the top of the screen there. Tess making sure to oh, keep him in the Oh, he didn't get him with the frame trap, but that's okay. He avoided the bouncing knives by using the bullet effect of the three card. We got Sprinkle here. Kamachi actually has a lot of really good skills in Sprinkle. Like her 2 on 4 shoots a ton of Wisps. Ooh, bad whiff there. Okay. Oh, Ooh, good, nice good, good air unblockable there. Yes. All right. I don't think there was so any way to escape turn that. The second game the around. Was, uh... I mean, second match. Good round. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of weather crystals. I think it's the most uh, the best part of that move is that you get absolute control over the weather. Yeah, Sakia definitely does get really low when she dashes. Nice taste of the, death. The thing of taste of death, it's really scary. It looks exactly like the fourth hit of Dial A, so it's really, really hard to avoid uh, getting opened up by that reset. All right, you've got the Scyther to Reaper now, allowing him for more confirms. To confirm off the of 6A. I mean, J6A. It's a lot harder to do it. Uh, actually, it's probably easier to do it online, but, you know, it's it's a pretty common Kamachi thing. I know, uh, really good. I know Aristo and Tess use it. That three card? Th those wisps are actually type two. He was, that was checkmate. He couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, that. you can't graze through them all. All right, this is a very good upset. Tess going up 2 0 against Duckator. Alright. Okay, so Tess All right, takes it. Alright, that's it. That's Tess. He's, he's moving on. Alright, so the bomb is about to. I guess the bomb versus Tess? The bomb versus Tess? Cool. 
I'm very proud of Tess. Because we all used to, we you know, Duckator is a very uh, seasoned player, very seasoned Sakia. He, has, he hasn't I, been playing that much. I'm proud of Tess because we always joke about that he's always a commentator now. Yeah, but he's really in the tournament. <laughs> but he's like, re he's, he's really good. He was really saying, oh, man, I'm going to have to commentate the rest of the tournament. I'm like, dude, be quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just, we look. I looked up I a lot. Was, to I think Duck he was looking Hater, forward so to doing commentary after I beat him, but then he, he smashed loves commentary. Me. You see the way he commentates? <laughs> yeah, Soku? dude, he's always so happy. To he's commentate. very hype about Soku. It, Tess is one of the reasons Soku is still doing pretty good. You know? That's true. The, with his weekly tournaments, he's very on time and prompt about those. I'm They're really, always really good. Hey, I'm really glad we have Tess. It, also, if you guys do want to, make sure you follow Tess Zero on uh, Twitter. Also, follow him on uh, Twitch as well. He does. We do have weekly tournaments. The weekly tournaments are very electrifying, if not more electrifying than these matches. Uh, maybe a higher level of play because we're coming from the Discord. But yeah. Still well, show up. It, I mean, it's going to be online, so it's going to be a little, a little shakier. But we do have... Uh, you know, we do have uh, a lot of players who couldn't make it out here. Yeah, Duck used to be one of the best. Duck used to be easy, like, top three, but that was, like, in 2011. Yeah. Yeah, now we have new gods like Tess. <laughs> he's the, new, I mean, he's I the mean, reincarnation when, of Magister. When, te when Tess wins, I mean, we have to just call him the best. We, did, we Now we just have to call him Tess, Tess sister. Te Tess, uh, I can't mix Magister and Tess. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a little hard. All right, now we need another... Who, who's the most guy like I? Is it I Ionator? Or no, not Ionator. No. Or, or is it Splinter? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think I think we should call Splinter our number one player. Honestly, we should push him as just the best in the entire the Discord. Best? Yeah, yeah. He's the uh, best. What about Go Die or whatever his <laughs> name was? <laughs> I can't believe that was actually his name for so long. Yeah. Well, well did he change it? Finally? <laughs> no, I think I have no idea. Or did he just leave? And quit? <laughs> I don't know. Go die, go die was my guy. We used to play a lot, like we used to play like almost every. I can't game. believe that was his tag, man. You who's reading the message? Oh, I'm the best player. Thanks, Yaffe. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I needed that today. It's gonna, it's gonna get me through my. It's whole true. Day. It's true. Sweet Pea's really good. All right, they're going to go for a button check, and then they're going to start D. their match. Yeah, I always call him Goaty, too. Zaton is, no, Zaton isn't dead. He's just uh, he's just on an extended hiatus from the server. All right, so we got a button check here. That's why it's on Misty Lake. If it, was, uh, if it wasn't a button check, there's no way we'd pick this stage. This yeah, is, this no, no way. Stage. This is the worst one. I mean, it's not offline, though, but, you know. It's I'm, it's like soft I mean, let's band, admit so. how beautiful. Look at the water in the background. I mean, it looks really nice, but it's, it's soft, man. It looks bad. Okay, so you saw one example of the weather putting stuff on the screen. Oh yeah, usually we play on indoors stages, but on outdoor stages you can see weather effects. Yep. All right, so we're going into the match. Oh, the bomb already landing in the hit. No confirm, I mean, no limit. All right. Ooh, test poking test, out. Test is mashing on wake up, that's fine. Whatever works. No, you're attacking against Tess. Excellent counter hit, but he can't quite finish the conversion. All right. He gets a taste of death. His Ooh. pressure is gonna be really good from early on now. He hasn't missed that all day. All right. Tessie was looking very strong. Again. Yeah, Tess starting real strong. Ooh, All bad right, far the right bomb there. getting his turn now. Finishes with Lightning Cage, so he bounces him off the wall next time. All right, Dragon God's Wrath. So that this move works by Niku holding one button, I'm, I'm assuming. And All right, Spring Haze. During Spring Haze, you can graze your opponent's melee attacks, and it, uh, every time you graze or block, uh, Weather Crystal will pop out. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It also costs Spirit to graze uh, anything. Anything, in this yep. In this Bullets or melee. So the bomb with the nice back tech to uh, mess with Tess's All right, Tess, Tess finally has all two, three, six. Oh, there's Veil. Vale. So during during Veil, vale, oh, he got him with the four anti. All right. Veil vale allows Iku to cheat. <laughs> so, okay, so during Veil, vale, Iku can graze melee attacks without spending any spirit. So it's like Spring Haze just for her. Yeah, her own personal Spring Haze. It's crazy. Uh, Tess is playing Ooh. out of his mind. Wow. Very good uh, anti -air. AUB setup. He's just not letting anyone tech out. I mean, that's your job as Kamashi. No one should go. feel safe right. teching against you. He's, he's in the pink zone. Spring Haze on the clock. He probably wants to get a knockdown and change that. There it is. Heavy fog. That's even worse. Get that off the clock. So, yeah, when you're, if you can keep yourself above Iku, oh, he forced snow. Way, you'll find yourself. That's the thing really with Iku. It's really hard to keep yourself from changing the weather. He probably wanted the heavy fog more than he wanted snow. Snow, not a bad weather. When you hit your opponent, you drain their card gauge. 
And if you drain a card gauge all the way, it'll actually destroy the next card in line. There we go, Tess winning the first round. All right, so Tess taking it, going up 1-0. Really dominant set there. Really showing the strength of Koma. She's really good at punishing air attacks. Be careful air attacking again against her. You will have a bad time. But we have the bomb here. Good start off. We got Dragon God Strike. Tess grazing out against the B bullets. He knows they're plus. He's trying to avoid the situation where he gets touched by him. Good. To, okay, so he picked two knockdowns there so he could avoid, uh, avoid the Typhoon. He switched it to Calm instead. In Calm, when you hit your opponent, you get a spotlight and you regen health. And every time the spotlight switches, the health regen gets stronger. Okay. Tess has level one side through the Reaper now. All right, catching him with the Wisp there. Very good. All right, Mr. Bombster, I, I need to in. update my tier list. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tempest on the clock. In Tempest, all horizontal movement gets faster except for flies, and you gain three air dashes instead of two. Well, not just air dashes, just three movement well, options. Well, three air gym, movement. In three air movement options. Flight or air dash. It's just the weather, man. Oh, Mr. the J2A <laughs> confirmed. All right, Tess the is bomb in. is in the corner. Is Bomb he block three. It's very hard to get out after that. Very good confirm from Tess. He gets a knockdown. Sun shower. Very scary situation for the bomb. Ooh, the bomb. Oh, but he let him out. No. Mm. Yeah. Apparently, Tess here becomes S tier offline. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I thought he was gonna J2A there. Oh, very good conversion there. He's got the pink stuff on deck. Here it goes. He's gonna frame trap with it. All right. He's still in. Okay. The bomb trying to fight his way out of the pink zone. It's really, really hard to fight hard. Your way out of the pink zone. It's kind of unreasonable. He probably shouldn't have teched in the pink zone. It's really hard to get out of the 3A right. air unblockable there. The bomb is getting really impatient. He definitely doesn't want to block any Tessera building another. He, he's got another card. Here and it is. He's going to force him into the pink zone again. Okay, he's going to push him. Oh, wait. We're oh, on spring haze. haze. Never mind. He gets to get out. Koma actually has a very strong grazing move in spring haze. Her 6-6P is active for a long time and grazes for almost the full duration. Oh, interesting. Unfortunately, it's really punishable on block, but in Spring Haze, not a lot of people want to block it. Okay. Ooh, no confirm. Yeah, he didn't have enough meter, so he, he didn't have enough meter, so he couldn't really convert off the J Day there. All right, the bomb playing really patient. He wants to take this game, but he wants to minimize the health he uses. Ooh. Oh wait, is he gonna do it? Oh, All no, right, he didn't okay, use the okay five card. Conversion there. It's Aurora. Honestly, I can't tell what weather it is, so it's probably something inconsequential. Ooh. Very, very good. Anti -air. good. Called him out on that hard. Yeah, the weathers don't change in the background because they're on an inside stage. Yeah, so you're never going to see. You're not gonna going to see any weather effects. That would prob that's probably why we never know. <laughs> that's probably another reason we don't play on any outside stages. We pick library. Yeah. Okay, so the bomb holding is... Ooh, is he going to use it? All right, yep. cool. He lands right, his five go. card. Swimming or fish shot. Here we go. Oh, it's Typhoon. Easy. It's Typhoon, too. It's really hard to get out of, out of this. Oh, wow. He had enough spirit to okay. graze out, so he's okay. Tess hugging the ceiling here, trying Tess, to bite Tess his time. Tess in a very hard situation now. Iku... Iku very strong has, in Typhoon. Yeah, very really good. really big buttons. That J2A reaches way far, all the way from downtown. Oh, that's Ooh. not a good whiff. Okay, oh. no conversion. The bomb okay, Tess has his chance though. to make it back. Oh, Ooh, Tess they went through each other. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, we got River Mist. The River Mist makes the stage move back and forth. All right, Tess trying to put on the pressure. Don't knock River it down, Mist. Tess. All right, All right. River Mist now. Honestly, right. honestly, Any random hit and I, Tess is over. I think, I think Iku's probably favored in this matter, in this weather because Komachi's really spacing dependent. So it's going to be really... Ooh. Oh, he trades with the 6C. Yeah, oh, I was gonna no. say. Yeah, I was saying this the other day that this is the only the only Kamachi Bennett can benefit from this weather, possibly. No, not, I, not, I, not I, think, I think Iku is much stronger in River Mist. I feel like they both have things to gain. I actually think Kamachi's weakest weather is probably River Mist. It really screws with their spacing. That was a really good crush. Tess is still in. Oh, unfortunate whiff there. The bombs didn't quite limit it, but that's all right. Ooh. River Mist is rarely anyone's favorite. Can level weather. it? Yep. There we go. All right. All right, so Tess getting some Ooh, really good, good pressure. He's gonna, yeah, he caught the tech. Oh, we didn't quite get the limit. That's all, all right. right. So Tess with a nice lead here. But Tess is still in. All right, no, Ooh, no AUV, but he catches a air to air. Okay, it's about to be Typhoon. Is anyone gonna land a knockdown? 
Oh, he I feel like Tess should just wait this out. He could type. Oh, no, yeah, he should, he should have gone for the Typhoon, but unfortunately, Devon took it back from him. Oh, right. he, tech, he let him get Diamond Dust. Uh oh. That's actually really dangerous for Tess. If he gets knocked down. Yeah, if he gets knocked down. It, oh, it's oh, fine. Wait, it's wait he didn't Ooh, get the kill. No confirmed. All right. That's uh, guard break. Oh, he didn't get the knockdown. All right. All right. Tess taking Tess. it with an air to air. All right. So Tess holding his three card. He's looking to get some pressure. All right. It's Typhoon. Fight will come wild. The bomb's just getting just taking so much damage in the Typhoon from. Kamachi bullets. Why are you holding life swap? Ooh, wow, I figured he would play a lot more safe. <laughs> no don't typhoon don't hover end. over life swap when you're winning, Tess. Come on. Hover over the good meter. Goes for the far A, whiffs under the, the bomb's border escape. Catch him with the JDA. Very nice. Goes for the 2 through 6 C. Man, uh, doesn't quite get it. Ooh, limit. Ooh. All right, here we go. Tess is in. It's Tempest. It's actually really scary to run away from Kamachi and Tempest. Her air dash is really good. Yo, he got wow, the trade with the three card! The Hengeki came out, but he still traded with the bullet. It's amazing. Alright, so this is loser final, so Tess it's best out of five. Out of his mind. So the bomb has another chance to bring this back. Let's hopefully hopefully he can make the set a lot better than the glass. Alright, so Tess covering the screen. Border escape to avoid that guard break. Oh, doesn't quite get the confirm there, but that's alright. We got snow on the clock. Oh, no, he teched. Ooh, he didn't catch right. the air tech, Oh, though. but he got, he got knocked down, so it's time for Sun Shower. Sun Shower, very scary. All right, the bomb's turn. Oh, Ooh, good, good back dash. Good back dash from a 6 Good awareness. I'm going to have to steal that. Yeah. Make sure you're taking notes here, guys. Absolutely take notes. Tess is crazy today. Yeah, all your Kamachi players in the Discord. Alright, let's get back into it. Yeah, okay, offline test. J2A rollback is definitely not a thing. Alright. Alright, no test doesn't get the air tech there, but that's or the air tech catch there, but that's Alright, Tess is about to trap him. Oh, well he's using, he'll use all three of its cards right now. He does use it, <laughs> he so he won't have any. He thought he had taste of death, he was going for the trap. Unfortunately he got a little confused, but that's okay. Didn't lose a lot for it, so it's fine. He's holding on to the coin. Well Tess has a mat a match advantage, so yeah. he has a little he has a little room to breathe here. The bomb right, is really it's, sweating. It's sprinkle. Though. Another thing about sprinkle you have to remember is because all skills are max level, every it's every skill anyone uses does forty percent more damage. Which is nice really scary. Tess. Border escaping and then using an uh, using an air unblockable. Um, Good confirm from the bomb. Taking closing the match out. Magus is outdated. Tess activated. I think he just <laughs> had to come to a, a real event to really activate himself. All right, Dust Storm. In Dust Storm, every attack is a counter hit. So any of, any hit. Yep. Ooh, okay. And every single uh, starter that is a counter hit gets additional uh, untech. So you can do really crazy combos. Into the five card. All right. Unfortunately, the bolt knocked him out of most of the damage, but, but that, it'll give him not a some big really deal. nice. Yeah, he's got really good Oki here. Punishes the Hangeki. All right, Tess jumping out. Ooh, good Whoa, to air block. Confirmed the bomb. Oh, that was nice. All nuts. right, bringing it up two two. It's a real match now. Let's go. All right, two two. Final game. All right, this is the one when the most intense Soku is played. <laughs> <laughs> We're up to down the two two. Final hour. All right, Tess getting some good Oki. All right, he's getting the spirit. Yep, all right. Yo, got Ooh. him with the charge 3A. Charge. He went for it again. The bomb is no slouch. He's not going to air tech twice. Come on. <laughs> all right, the bomb goes for the 5C Oki. Gets it. Blue Sky. In Blue Sky, you can cancel special moves into other special moves, and each successive cancel costs half as much spirit. Okay. The bomb in the red right now. Okay. He back backed that spirits. Back that to the explosion. Take really notes here, guys. This is definite tech you're going to want to use. Okay, so uh, every time the weather ends, it picks a random one. Okay? And then every time someone is wall bounced, floor bounced, or gets knocked down, or uses a spell card, it cycles the weather one time. And he, the weather's on a fixed right, cycle nice after it. snipe on that. All right, going into round two. 
up one test. Wow. What was that? Wow, that was a very I heard, I heard, I heard him hit him. <laughs> <laughs> very random. What happened? <laughs> oh, Ooh. unfortunately gets clipped by the bolt. Oh, yeah. and the J2A catches the extended hurt box right. on. Her 5 b messes up that combo. All right. It's Tessero's turn. Here we go. Tessero getting Sets up the 6 it's Scorching Sun. It's Scorching Sun when you're above halfway up the screen, you start taking damage, and but uh, it changes that damage into card meter for you. And additionally, while you're taking Scorching Sun damage, wow. you do extra damage. Tess is really punishing all these air techs. All right, Tess does not... Oh. oh! What? What was that? Oh my god. Tess, forgetting I, he does I, not I have Taste of Death. I think he still thought death. he had Taste of Death, but he went for the cancel. Yeah, m most of Tess is, uh, <laughs> most of these games, Tess has gotten Taste of Death pretty early, so... Oh, he got the air unblockable. That was crazy. Nice air unblockable. Oh, no. Bad dash. Okay, but Tess has... Tess is one hit away from going to Grand Finals. One hit. One hit. And that, we're gonna that, see... That's one hit. We're gonna see Duck Aider Tess again. Crazy. Okay, Tess now air tech is not respected. Okay. He got him! He no. got him! What a confirm. That confirm was crazy! Is on fire today, and he said he was not going to commentate. <laughs> Look at him now. Look at him go. <laughs> it's go Tess. You got to play the whole tournament now. <laughs> Look at a big man. <laughs> Dude, Tess is you nuts. Thought, you thought you wasn't going to... No commentary <laughs> for Tess today. Come on, she's gonna come on, she's gonna win the first major. <laughs> no commentary for Tess. You got sweet peas tickets here. I think I'm gonna have to take over Soku Saturday because Tess is gonna be playing every time now. <laughs> Ooh, that's yeah, his six sixty space his spacing is really has been really, really good today. I noticed that when I played him. Yeah, Tess he's is like he's not missing a beat when he plays. He's definitely on you as soon as, you, as soon as he hits you. <laughs> All right, so we're on the wait for Duck Hater again. Wait, is it Duck Hater again? Yeah, yeah Duck Hater was winter side. He plays Duck Hater again. Mm -hmm. So we're you're going gonna, to gonna make it. Exactly. <laughs> hey, buddy. I don't look like the. I don't look like the me you thought I was. That's unfortunate. Wow. What did you think I was gonna look like? It bothers. Yeah. How do, how can you determine what somebody looks like from their voice? I I've, wait, I, I, I've wait, been wait, doing wait. that. I've posted pictures of myself before. How did you not even know? Wow, you're risque, crazy. <laughs> you know, people like do a lot that. of things with your pictures. Man. Oh please. <laughs> you no, know, Sigus does look. Like a teddy bear. Oh come on! That he definitely does look <laughs> a very huggable guy. Picture use your profile pictures. <laughs> oh wow. Uh well, just there's no hu there's no pee that can talk. Not even on cartoons. Not even on Veggie Tales was there a pee that can talk. So. A cool piece of trivia about Marissa. Uh, like, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, so who's playing right now? Where's my broom? I forgot the Hakero, too. It was actually super sad. Commentators, wait a minute. Yeah. Professional commentary setups. Soku's coming a long way, guys. Hopefully, I get to see you guys at Combo Breaker. Maybe we can have a Soku suite. <laughs> Soku more alive than I, th Smash. I thought it was Duck Hater versus Test Snatch. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was Grands. That because that was losers finals. Right? Was that losers finals? Wait, Zero Fuse is in Grands actually. So. No, we already saw Duck Hater lose twice, didn't we? Yeah, this is Grands. This is it. I oh. was right. Okay, then. What's <laughs> Zero Fuse doing right there? Commentary so lost. No, I was right. I just, look, when someone tells me something, no, we said it, it sounds like they know what they're talking about. I'm just like, whatever. Oh, okay, yeah, we were, we didn't, we didn't even he know wants, what happened. He wants to hear me anyway. We don't even know don't what happened. <laughs> we're clueless commentators, we're sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, so zero fuse. Okay, one, wait, 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 wait. One of us is clueless. I knew this was Grand's. Yeah, I didn't. Know this. <laughs> Soku is esports. Soku is not esports. Zero fuse isn't patchouli IRL. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Zero fuse against Tessero. Alright, this looks like a test. Yeah, this looks yeah, like a button test. check. Tessero's been on fire, but I don't know how the Lee versus Komachi matchup is, so I can't say anything. Delay test. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny because DeBomb's been calling it a delay test all day. It's really <laughs> hilarious. He actually has been saying that. It's so funny. Oh, man. Gotta love so Wow, backwards 5C to start off the match. This is gonna be something different. Alright, Zero All right. Fuse so, already breaking the orb. So for, any, so for anyone who doesn't know, anyone who played Soka before, this character Patchouli, she actually has a uh, faster spirit regenerates on all of her uh, all of her moves. So anytime she hits a uh, any kind of thing that costs spirit, she regens faster than anyone else, or like, at least she starts regen faster. So she's gonna be using a lot of projectiles, a lot of skills. Yeah, one of the one of the stronger zoners of the game. All right, so Tess keep succeeding at keeping Patrulli in the corner so far. All right, all right, back to neutral. This is where Patrulli really shines. Oh wait, oh, Tess wait. got a hit. Here we go. Denial. Okay. He didn't. He didn't take out of the corner. All right, it's Tess's turn. All right, Tess has the field. That stagger is so big. It's actually still minus on round block. I'm pretty sure. All right. Oh, he went for the 3A, but Jeffy's new. Wait, he got knocked. He got knocked back okay. in a really weird way. It's an awkward situation. That kind of sucked. All right, tech forward J6A. Unfortunately, I like it. Unfortunately, was still backwards. He couldn't. Oh, there we go. Good air unblockable 3A. Absolutely good. Okay, right, here we Looks go. Looks like Tess is dealing with this matchup pretty well. Tess spending a lot of time just outside 5C range, really trying to catch him with that J6A. He keeps coming in. Priming it. Zero Fuse is running fans, uh, by the way, to make. Uh, so uh, the Tengu fans, the thing that Zero Fuse has in his, de his hand there, they actually speed up your horizontal movement. And I think that's all horizontal movement, including flight. Oh, oh he forced Typhoon. Typhoon in the corner Typhoon. with pink move. He, all right, in let's the pink go. Zone. There's nothing you could do about this. Kamachi's got much stronger melee than uh, Pachuli, so Typhoon's actually. Yeah, Typhoon's good for her. Good, especially with. Uh, yeah, especially when he can't move out of the pink nope. zone. Zero Fuse, use Satellite Sunflower, take neutral back. All right, so we're about to go into River Mist. Oh, never mind. All right, knockdown from Zero Fuse. Now ooh, it's his turn. Diamond Dust. Ooh, it That's really, really is really his bad turn now. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Fire Crush? Ooh, no he confirm. Didn't he didn't finish him. Ooh, test. Oh, no. Jumps out of the corner. Confirm. Oh, ooh. Diamond Dust. He still couldn't Doesn't get up. work for bullets. All right. A one hit for a lot both of, players. A lot of respect there. He, he waited for the J2A. Oh, Tess, no. Almost. That was a misinput if he got in 4A there. All right, we're going to round three. Zero Fuse got a lot of meter to work with. He's got three different copies of Satellite Sunflower. Oh, no way. Goes for the 4A. No and block doesn't quite get it. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, he gets hit by Taste of Death. Scorching Sun now. He can use the effect there to build more meter if he wants. Double J5C combo there. All right, uses the three cards. Late cancel J5C. Now, now Tess tight. can't get out safely. All right, guard break. No confirm. Ooh. Gets him with the 4B5C. Ooh, air tech catch. Ooh, catch Another air tech, tech catch. again. You gotta stop air teching. Pachuli's really good at catching those. Mm -hmm. Uses land cancel J6A to push him back into the corner. It's still zero fuses turn. 16 to two card to uh, crush him. He's going for a nice amount of uh, skill card setup. I mean, spell card setups. I really like this. Tessa is sitting on life swap though. Look okay. out. If zero fuse tries to set up satellite sunflower, he's gonna get life swapped on. He's probably gonna die. Zero fuse can't use his meter now. Gonna try to snipe him out in neutral. Ooh, 5C almost. It's okay, that just makes life swap stronger. That's okay. fine. Don't worry about it. Oh. Ooh. Gets tagged. <laughs> <laughs> Your life swap doesn't work if you don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. He was trying to go for the swag, but it just didn't work, man. All right, it's fine. Zero fuse up 1 0. Just make life swap. <laughs> Ooh, nice trade. Okay. 
could 616. All right, you got the knockdown set up, but plenty of spirits. Typhoon on the clock, though. All right, good knockdown. Let's call him All out. right, we're back into All right, he calls out the tech out of the corner. Corner to corner. All right, Tessio steadily gaining life. Yeah, he wants about to, keep to be the, back at full health. All right, he used the pink stuff to keep the advantage. He really wants to keep the advantage. Then so that's he a keeps lot of from taking the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And let's just t let's not to mention the amount of chip that he's able to do in the corner as well. It's oh, really that's helping. true. Him. All right, Tess watching out for those five Cs. He mortar escape, extra careful. Mortar escape the six six eight to try to get out of there. Six six eight is actually a pretty common mortar escape point for versus Komachi, just because her only option is taste of death. And he doesn't have it yet. Yeah. Every character has a, a few telling points of when you should be trying to get out. That's a good hit there. Oh, 236, 236. Wow, it gets the limit. Six. The sprinkle, it actually fires four. Whoa. Yes. Doing real mix ups today. You see, Tess plays Guilty Gear too. Tess, huh? Tess recognized the sprinkle it. situation and picked up that limit. It was really smart. All right, so sprinkle changing the game a little Ooh, bit. We got the, he wanted, that had to be a miss. He wanted 236 there. There's no way he wanted 63. All right, so Zero Fuse has control of the neutral Ooh. right now. Tess can't Zero get out safely. Pressure. All right, River missed. All right. Spends his meter to get out. All right, now it's back to Tessero's turn. Good counter hit. Unfortunately, he can't convert there because he got, uh, he jumped a little. Well, he, he jumped right, but he ended up behind. Oh, wow. Did you see him? He canceled his uh, J5A with J2A to fastball. Very smart by Tess. Nice catch on these air techs. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh, no. That's. Mm. That's that was tragic. not a good move. All right, chicken blocking. Gets right. opened up. Tess is, looking to get, Tess is looking to get behind Zero Fuse, I think. He's the three card. Oh, he was right trying to switch to live swap 16. right at the end there. All right, going into round three here. Mm. Tess just getting caught out by those J5 ceiling. Zero Fuse is definitely not let a mare tech into the pressure. Unfortunately, he wasn't in a position to punish him for doing satellite sunflower. But again, he's still got Life Swap on deck. Very scary card. Hits him with the Fireball, though. Good spacing on that J6A. J6 he went for it. Oh my gosh. That was ballsy. It's either now or never, huh? All right, so it's looking like, yeah. yeah at, at, at least he went it. for it. At least he went for it. All yeah. right, Zero Fuse up 2-0. Zero Fuse wins one more. He's the winner. Zero Fuse will be taking the grand final. But let's put our hands in the air for Tess. Look, Tess has been playing really out of his mind today. You don't know what he'll do right now. We're all surprised. Ooh. Good J2A counter hit. Unfortunately, he can't limit there. He doesn't have the right alt skill. All right, so we're right, Diamond Dust. Dust. One of these players is going to be looking for a knockdown. Whoever gets the knockdown might All right, decide he knows to... that's not plus. Tess's turn. Okay, Tess. Oh, he went. He went for the taste of Ooh, death. Tess tried in to back that dominance. Unfortunately, Komachi's buttons are really big. He couldn't get out of that. It's still Diamond Dust. It's Tess's turn. He's got the pink stuff on deck. He's gonna do it probably. Here we go. Ooh, taste of death. Yep, taste of death. There Ooh, we go. He nice frame. Oh, he still spent it. Unfortunate. Mm. It's cool. He still has more cards. That's yeah. all right. Komachi really good at building meter, if nothing else. Yep. Her neutral definitely does allow her to access to a lot of meter. Good snipe on that, Wisp. Ooh, Ooh! Amazing back dash. Missing that crush. As you can see, Ooh, but he got by the spirit. allowing for crazy combos right now. Unusual stuff's happening. She got big buttons, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, no tech. Tess really chasing Zero Fuse down, not allowing him to breathe at all. Oh, we got him with the with the anti air into the four card. All right. Big damage. Oh, looking it's like looking it's like, Haze. Looking like Tess's game right now. He, he went for the six six B. Expected zero fuse raise. It's gonna be up. a really uphill battle for. Oh, we got him mind. with the J five A. Tess fighting back. All right. Tess hero goes up two one. Let's see <laughs> if we could bring this back. Reset the bracket. This will go down in Soku history if that happens. Let me <laughs> tell you. <laughs> All right, oh. so Zero Fuse starting off the round dominant, getting the first hit, Get, getting all the pressure. OK, the, Tess getting out of the corner. Yeah, Tess just jumped over the far A. All right, let's see if Tess can make this work. All right. Nope. Ooh. But Julie's actually really scary to fight against. She like has this weird thing where if you hit a button while you're waking up, she gets up a little earlier. And it's, it's tough. 
Wow. I didn't know. Ooh, far into far A. Those far by A confirmed. Very impressive for me. All right, zero for you setting up his three cards. Ooh, nice that, that overhead. String, that string is so cool. Oh my gosh. That is grimy. Okay, backwards book. All right, no your attack from test. All right, Mountain Vapor, it takes your cards away. It reshuffles them. You have five random cards in your hand right now. Yep. And you can use... You can use it, but... You can use it, but it's, it's It random. could be a three card, or a anything. five card, or a skill card. You don't know. Some characters have a really good uh, game for that, though. All right, so test zero. Ooh, getting tagged by the 6 6 speed. Patchy 6 6 is okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. Uh, zero Fuse has been putting it to some use. All right, does it convert from the J5A? Tessio putting on the pressure now. It's his turn. All right, never mind. Oh, goodness. All right. Tessio is not submitting to the pressure. Test back in. He's got the dull 2 3 6 on. Oh, Ooh, good six, an excellent 6-6-C. Six, six, oh, Dust Storm. More time to confirm. Levels of 2 3 6. All right, so Tess has his pink move. He's gonna he's gonna try to trap Zero Fuse. Yeah, he's gonna try to get Zero Fuse in the pink zone. Zero Fuse looking to get out soon, hopefully. Here it is. No way, though. Okay, Zero Fuse in the corner. Border escape. No luck. Ooh, excellent. There's really nothing you could do about uh, the pink move. Once you're in the zone, it's Ooh. Kamachi's game. He caught him trying to dash forward in 4A. Hit him with the taste of death. He went for taste of death again. Okay, Zero Ooh. Fuse looking really hungry to get out right now. <laughs> Keeps getting tagged. That was a crazy round. Tess has life cut in his hand. He just has to build enough meter to use it. Unfortunately, gets hit by the Ooh, crystals. 2.8k. A lot of damage. Oh, bad right whiff. But Tess knew he was ready for it. All right, we're in Sprinkle, so all the, all the skills are enhanced right now. Catches the border escape. Good stuff by Zero oh. Fuse. That was a really unfortunate hit there. He went for the 4A, uh, the 4A anterior. Didn't get it. All right, tens are going on. Tess is going on a little. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh, life cut. Ooh. Here we go. 50%. There we go. Unscaled damage. Now Tess is it, now it's looking like an even game again. Oh, he got Tess him with. He got lead. him with the stagger. All right, no confirm. He, oh, he got him with the 2B. Mm. Unfortunate trade though. All right. He didn't set up satellite. Zero fuse back on the offensive. All right, we're back. He's going to set up satellite now. Oh, he got clipped. Ooh. Okay. If Tess could keep on it, he will not be able to set up this card. Come on, Tess. Oh. Okay. Oh, Ooh. no. Good border escape. Zero Fuse really looking to get out here. This is Tessio's tournament life on the line right here. Oh, he got Ooh. him. Ooh, okay. He's still in it. All right. 2-2. Two, two. That life cut was exceptional. Definitely got him where he needed to be for that game. Man, Tess is insane today. <laughs> That's playing out of his mind right now. Don't know what to say. All right, trade, round start. Tess goes, looking, goes looking the to be the aggressor. Unfortunately, couldn't quite catch up to Pichuli's long ground tech. Wow, that was a very awkward 4A. Oh, just a little late on the 6 there. there. Would have traded with the 5C fireball. All right, air tech in. Ooh. All right, zero air tech again. Ooh. Oh, okay, air tech gets out J this time. He went for the J to air tech catch. Ooh, Ooh that's raw a six A. a. Crazy. Zero fuse does not care about anything you're doing. No, no, you almost in top eight. Nope. It's not 20 XX here. Sorry. <laughs> that six A was crazy, but he could have limited that, couldn't he? Okay. No, the the preparation was too long. All right. Tessio has his taste of death. Now his pressure is upgraded, and right. he has a Typhoon Tessio has Reaper. both of his ults now. Oh, but he got the reversal. It, and it's it Typhoon. Oh, it's he forced Typhoon. It's, All right, Tess is going to want to waste some time on the Typhoon for the next round, possibly. Yeah. All right. All right, 40 seconds of Typhoon left. Well, that's second, but 40 ticks. Yep. All right. That's his tournament point for Zero Fuse. All he's got to do is win here. Yep. All he has to do is play clean, not get tagged. He's, look, he's looking pretty good right he's now. He's looking really solid. He's setting up a good round he's, here. He's up one game. But Tess has not been able to get away from him. You can't count Tess out, though. He's got life cut. Or True. He's got, oh, Mountain well, no, Vapor Mountain away. Vapor. When you least expect it, Mountain Vapor will take your cards away. All right, good, good 4A for it. Get oh. him off you. <laughs> Hmm. 
Zero Fu is really the Yeah, Typhoon's not even test. close to the worst weather in the game. Alright, Zero Fu's turn. He's trying to push him full screen here. Oh, he's got Life Swap right. on deck. Alright, opting to use Pink Zoo, though. Yeah, he's definitely going to use the Pink Zone. Okay. Oh, wait, he's, he's got it. In the corner? It's a lot of drain. It's not enough. He's looking for him to try to set up Sunflower. Unfortunately, oh, it's Ooh, sun, shower. sun Shower. That's oh, really no, it's scary. Really bad for Tess right now. This is this is the scariest situation he's been in all day. Oh, he got it. Whoa. No. No. Not enough recovery. Almost. But he got out. All right. The life stop let him out. Oh, oh no. no. The poor ant here. And Zero Fuse and takes the tournament. He is your Soku Frosty Faustings winner. Zero Fuse. Good stuff from both sides. Tess was Tess really, really fought it that like was really hard. Insane. <laughs> Earlier, Duck Aider put Tess into losers, and Tess fought his way all the way from losers to grand finals. What an excellent performance from Zero Fuse and Tess Lula, and everyone that played on stream. <laughs> all right, so are we doing a, who, who's doing the, are we doing an interview or, or something? Or? <laughs> <laughs> all right, if we do, I'm stepping out. Oh, man, you put me on the spot for this interview? Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, guys. What characters were top eight? Uh, so we only did top six on stream, but we had Marissa, Yukari, Komachi, Patchouli, uh, Iku. Who's the last one? Uh, Sakia. Uh, Here yeah, we go. Sakia. Duck yep. How did I forget Duck Gator? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And we got this medal here. Yep. Wrap it up. All right. All thank right, you, no, thank no, you guys no. for watching. All right. Yep, All right thank, thank you guys for watching. watching. That's the end of Soku at Frosty Faustings. We we'll hope to see you at uh, Combo Breaker later this year. Yep. Uh, we'll join our Discord. Uh, look up his and Soku. And I was, I'm Sweet P on commentary. And I've been Sigits on commentary. Thank you guys. Oh, yeah. We have Rollback Netcode. Goodbye. Have a good day, guys.